get ready to be blown away as I reveal 21 ingenious home hacks that will revolutionize the way you live. Does this ever happen to you? You're packing for a trip, it's early in the morning, and everyone's toothbrushes are still wet, but you've gotta pack them anyway. Well, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get a plastic glove, put each one of those toothbrushes inside the finger slot. Just slide them in there, this will keep each toothbrush separated. And because the gloves are plastic, the damp toothbrush won't get water all over your bag. Once each toothbrush is situated, you can roll up that plastic glove and pop it into your suitcase, your purse, your bag, your backpack, any place you wanna store them. This hack will work not only for traveling, but if you wanna brush your teeth at work, school, or anywhere else. This next hack is for all of you fashionistas out there. It's one of my all-time favorites. I'm gonna show you how to update a pair of shoes, take them from regular to extraordinary. What I did was I purchased a set of three shoe clips from Amazon. They were only $13.99. There was a circular clip, a rectangular clip, and a sparkly floral clip. I rounded up three pairs of dress shoes and I added the clips to the front of these shoes. All you need to do is open up the clip, place it on the front of the shoe, and snap it closed. I placed all of these clips on three pairs of shoes. It was so easy to do, but look at the transformation these fancy clips make. They look like brand new shoes. You can dress them up for a special occasion and wow, what a fun statement they would make. I mean, look at how cute these shoes are. They were cute to begin with, but now they are just so much more glamorous. These clips are a great way to glam up a pair of shoes you already have. Not only can you use these clips for shoes, but you can grab one and just pop it on the front of a purse, you can put it on a hat or a scarf. These little clips are a fun way to give a stylish twist to items you already have. Speaking of a stylish twist, I have a fun way to display your dish towels in your kitchen. What you're gonna need is two dish towels. They need to be similar in size. Take the first, lay it out, grab the edge and fold it to the center. Then grab the opposite side and fold that to the center as well, and then make one more fold together. Take the second towel, fold the first edge to the center, and then take the opposite side and fold it all the way over. Then fold it in half. Now grab that first towel and place it over the center of the second towel. Then squeeze it together so it looks like a bow. You can hang this bow towel on your dishwasher handle on your oven handle or like me, you can slide it through a pull on your drawer. What I did was I took the tails of the towel and I threaded it through my pole and now I have an adorable way to display my towels. This is so cute. What a fun thing to do for a party. You could even get some seasonal towels, some Christmas towels, some Valentine's towels, summer towels and make themed bows to coordinate with the season or color scheme that you want. If you have teeny tiny stud earrings and you're always worried about misplacing them or having them get lost, especially when you're traveling, this next hack is for you. What you're gonna wanna do is get some buttons. These large buttons obviously have holes in them and what you're gonna wanna do is remove the back of your small earrings and thread them through the holes on the buttons. Then you can replace the backs on these earrings. It's so helpful to have these earrings stored on a very locatable button. Now that they're on the button, you can pop them back into your jewelry bag or in a purse or somewhere in your suitcase and you know that they will not get lost or misplaced. Another item that you can add to these buttons so they don't get lost is a tie tack. I did the exact same thing with my tie tacks. I removed the back from the tack, pressed it through the button, and then replaced the backing. Now they're easy to locate and you won't misplace these either. Have you ever noticed that when you pull the lint filter out of your dryer, 
there's still lint down inside? Well, I'm going to show you a hack that's gonna help you to get out all of that excess lint. Grab a paint stirring stick, and in my case, I'm also gonna get a mismatch sock. You can also use a cloth, but we have a big family and we always have mismatched socks. So I'm gonna use a singular sock that does not have a partner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sock and place the stirring stick inside. What you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you remove the lint filter first, then take your stirring stick and stick it down inside. I rub the sock up against the grid on the inside and the lint stuck to the sock. Then I can simply pull that excess lint right out. Because the stirring stick is thin, it fits inside the gap. I did this a few times and was amazed at the amount of lint I pulled out of the dryer. If you want an easy way to remove that excess lint, this is a great hack for you. I have a whole bunch of scissors and the blades are starting to get dull. So I'm going to sharpen those blades right up with some aluminum foil. What I did was I took a large square of aluminum foil and I folded it into fourths. I took my first pair of dull scissors and I began to make cuts all along the side of the aluminum foil. By doing this, it will sharpen those scissor blades. Next, I moved on to my smaller scissors and I did the exact same thing. I simply made cuts all along the side of the aluminum foil. Then I grabbed my heavy duty scissors that I used to cut the floral stems and I cut the other side of the aluminum foil, which sharpened these scissors right up. It's hard to gauge whether or not these scissors are sharper than they were before. So what I did was I got some copy paper and I simply just cut this copy paper. And let me tell you, these blades are much, much sharper. They work so much better now. So if you need to sharpen a pair of scissors, grab some aluminum foil, snip that aluminum foil to sharpen those blades. Did you know that you can extend the life of your batteries by simply putting them in the freezer? So what I did was I got a baggie and a whole bunch of batteries. I placed them inside this Ziploc bag and then placed it inside of my freezer. Did you also know that batteries have an expiration date printed on them? So all you need to do is look really hard. It's really small, fine print. You can find the expiration date for your batteries. So now you know which batteries to use first. Did you also know that you can reseal your battery package? What you need to do is take the top of the battery package, fold it down, then slide the backing, you know the backing where you open up the batteries, slide that through the opening at the top of the package. This will prevent my batteries from spilling out and getting mixed in with the other sized batteries. Next, we are going to create a disposable dustpan. So if you either don't have one or you're in an area where you cannot find one, this is going to be fantastic for you. Now what I have is a whole bunch of leftover pie pans. And what I'm gonna do is get my heavy duty scissors and I'm going to cut this in half. And now that my scissors are sharp, it easily cut through this pie tin. Now I have two dust pans. Let me show you how great these work. All I did was I swept a pile up in my kitchen and then I swept that pile right into my makeshift dustpan. It works so well because the metal is very thin, which also means that it's very sharp. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful when you're using these. But the nice part is, is once you're done using this dustpan, you can just throw it away with whatever you've swept up. So if you need a disposable dustpan, this hack will work for you. Oftentimes when I'm cooking ground meat, that grease will splatter and pop up and burn my hands and my arms and it does not feel good. So here's a hack to shield your hands and your arms when you're cooking on your stove top. What you're gonna need is a water bottle. Cut the bottom off of the water bottle. Next, grab a fork with a thinner stem 
and poke it through the opening of the water bottle. You can slide your hand through the opposite end of the water bottle to protect it. So the next time you are cooking something that has grease on it, use this hack. It will protect your hand. It will shield it from all of that grease that pops all over the place. This is an easy hack and it works fantastically. Does water ever seep through your fabric gloves and get your hands all wet while you're outside in the rain or the snow? Well, here's a hack that will prevent that. We are going to double up on gloves. The first glove that we're going to be putting on is a plastic glove. I slid my hand through this plastic glove and once it was on, I could put my fabric glove over the top. Now, if the fabric gloves get wet, your hands will stay dry thanks to the plastic glove that we put on first. Sometimes those jar lids can be so stubborn and I struggle to open them. So here's a hack to help you do that. What I do is I take a rubber band and I put it around the top of the jar lid. The rubber band will help you grip the lid so that you can easily remove the lid from the jar. Here is another easy way to open a jar. Did you know that on the jar lids, there's like this little arrow? And what you do is you can take a can opener and there's a little bump right here, this little metal part on the can opener. Take this part, run it along the inside of the jar lid. Once it hits that arrow, pull the can opener towards you and the lid will pop. Then you can simply twist that lid right off. If you're looking for an easy project to do with those little ones in your life, I have a creation for you. What you're gonna need is a canvas, a balloon, and some craft paint. Now, whatever paint you decide to use, just make sure it's washable because I can guarantee you it's gonna get everywhere. <laughs> what you're gonna to wanna to do is take that paint and squeeze a dab of the craft paint onto the canvas itself. My daughter chose several different paint colors and I alternated the paint colors in the center of each one of the other to create a bullseye. Next, I had my sweet little girl plop that balloon right into the paint. You put it over the paint and you press down and then pull that balloon right up. Because my canvas is a little smaller, I did not blow that balloon up very large. I left it kind of small. That way we could get several circles on my canvas. Now after the first plop of the balloon, I wiped off that excess paint. Now you don't have to do this. You can leave that excess paint on there and just kind of dab it all over your canvas but she wanted to make several different colored bullseyes as we created our beautiful artwork. So we just continued to add the paint to the canvas and press our balloon into the paint. This is a very creative and fun project that you can do with your younger kiddos. My daughter had the best time doing this project and she was very proud of the finished artwork and so was I. Carabiner hooks are one of those versatile items that you can use in a variety of different ways and you can pick them up at the Dollar Tree, which is where I got mine. What I'm going to do with my carabiner hook is it's going to make sure that my suitcase stays zipped. Have you ever been nervous that your suitcase will come unzipped while you're traveling? Well, what we're gonna do is take this carabiner hook and we are going to thread it through the center of the zippers when they were placed together. Now if the zippers get jiggled around, they will stay together and the suitcase will remain closed. If you don't have a suitcase where the zippers come together like that, what you can do is get a metal binder ring. I, again, I purchased mine at the Dollar Tree and what I did with this binder ring was thread it through the holes on the zipper poles. Combining the zipper poles and securing them together, again, will make sure that your suitcase or carry-on remains closed. We have a whole bunch of backpacks at our house too, and they get stuffed to overflowing. And so what you can do to make sure the zippers stay closed on these backpacks is to get a shower curtain ring. Once again, this shower curtain ring is from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was put the shower curtain ring through the zipper poles to secure them together. 
Now that full backpack will not open and spill its contents all over the place. Utilizing the carabiner hook, the binder ring, and the shower curtain ring to secure the zippers together is a fantastic way to keep your mind at ease, knowing that the valuables in your suitcase will remain inside, and all of these items were from the Dollar Tree, which makes them affordable. Have you ever been traveling and got to your final destination? You opened your bag and you saw that all the liquids had seeped out and got all over your valuables. That's happened to me, so this is a hack that will prevent that from happening. What you're gonna wanna do is get a balloon and cut off the end of this balloon. Now you can take the top portion of the balloon and place it over the lid of your bottled soaps or liquids. This balloon is on there really tight, so if by chance the lid somehow gets opened, the liquid will not spill over your belongings when you travel. I love using parchment paper when I cook because it makes cleanup a breeze, but sometimes I have a hard time getting that parchment paper to lay flat on my baking sheet. So what we're gonna do is place a large piece of parchment paper over the back side of my baking pan. I pressed along the edges, I flipped my pan back over, and I cut the corners on the parchment paper. Now it fits perfectly inside the pan. At this point, if your parchment paper still lifts up a little bit off the pan, what you can do is just get a little bit of water and add that to the bottom of the pan, spread it out a little bit, and then place the parchment paper over the water. The water will make that parchment paper stick to the pan. It will not slide around and you can add your food to the pan and cook it right up. I can't tell you how many times I've had either my parchment paper, my aluminum foil, or my saran wrap inside of my drawer, and I go to open the drawer, but the lid has opened while well, it's been in there, and <laughs> trying to open the drawer is a nightmare. Well, guess what? On these boxes, there is a little slit, a little cut, so that you can close your parchment paper, your aluminum foil, or your saran wrap, and it will now be stuck inside of these little slits, which will prevent it from opening up while it's inside of the drawer. So take advantage of those slits. This will keep that lid closed. We did a whole bunch of home hacks today, you guys. Hopefully one of these will work for you. I use several of these home hacks every day and it does make life a bit easier. There are so many ways that you can live beautifully. It doesn't have to be because you have a beautiful home or beautiful accessories. It can be because you have simplified your life and made things just a bit easier from day to day. If you have a home hack that works for you, leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to learn about it. Well, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I can share this with you. Thank you so much for watching.